Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, we are going to show you how to integrate FMOD 2.0 into Unity. We're just gonna go with any version of Unity, 2018.1.5 F1 is totally fine. I'm gonna name this Unity FMOD integration test. We're gonna create our new project. Remember, you might have a project that already exists. Feel free to just open up that project if that suits you better. And while we're waiting for that to open, I am actually going to pull up a new Google Chrome page and we're gonna type in fmod.com. Now, what you have to do in order to get the Unity fmod integration is you have to go to profile and you're gonna sign in. I'm already signed in under my name, Stunkle, and we're gonna go ahead and go to download. Cool, so now we have Unity integration. We have fmod studio, which we're gonna to wanna to download. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And then we're also going to download the Unity integration right here. All this is early access still, of course. Hopefully coming out of early access very soon. Just gonna let all this install. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click on our FMOD Studio and make sure that it's here, ready for us to go. That's looking good. Let's finish. Then we're also going to take our FMOD Unity package here and drag that directly onto our desktop just for later usage. Cool, so we're gonna go ahead and open up our Unity project here. And simply all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to assets and we're gonna go to import package, custom package. And we're gonna go to our desktop at the very top and we are gonna click on FMOD Studio 20.000 and uh, hit open. And that's going to actually create a custom package and allow us to use FMOD inside of Unity. Just hit import there. And after this all imports properly, we're gonna see a few things different. First off, we have some assets in the new assets here, like an FMOD plugin. We also have this up here, which is our FMOD tab, where if we go to edit settings, we can actually choose our FMOD Studio project, which we're gonna go into right now. So just pull up your windows here and type in FMOD Studio 2.00.00. And we're gonna allow access. This one's gonna be a new one that we're gonna save as FMOD int test and hit save. And we are going to actually create a new event as well. We're just gonna make it a 2D event. We're gonna call it test sound and we're gonna assign it to a bank. And then we're also going to just put in a little test sound that we have on the free course on blipsounds.com, which you can check out to learn some more in-depth material on FMOD. We go over the game Hat Trick with FMOD and Unity and show you how to properly integrate sounds with that. And we're just gonna take this blip fall sound and let's listen to our sound. Cool, so that sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit File and Build. Let's go back to Unity real quick. And we're gonna choose our studio project path, which is simply done by going to our project path, which I believe was back here. And test, there we go. So we found it right here, just hit open. And there we go, it's all connected. And we also wanna go over our builds. Um, this looks like we have multi-build, so that's good. And we're just gonna add one little sound here when a game object script and we're just gonna call this play sound, new script, play sound. We're gonna double click on this. And just to test if this works or not, we are going to just play a sound when the game starts up. And we're gonna call it fmod unity.runtime manager dot play one shot attached and we're gonna put in a string there and if we go to our fmod up here and go to event browser we can actually move this wherever we want first off which is very nice no i don't want it there i want it here there we go we're gonna open up events we're gonna be able to play this here after it shows its ui for it there we go we can hear it right there so we're just gonna hit copy right here on this little button and go back to our code and paste it right in here and hit save. Go back to Unity. And it looks like we have an error. 
Oh, looks like because we don't need the attached symbol here at all. But, oh, and also we don't want to capitalize the T here. So make sure that all the case sensitivities are correct. And I think we should be good to go from there. Let's just let it take its course. Yep, looks like we're all good. Let's go ahead and test by hitting play. Awesome, we were able to hear the sound and our integration is successful. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Hope this was helpful. If you wanna learn more about FMOD, sound design, and Unity and integration and all of that, I highly recommend checking out the Game Audio Training Series on blipsounds.com. We connect you, the sound designers, to game developers to work on non-commercial projects for just $60 a month. And you get to work with a community and a team, and I think it's a really valuable experience for everybody. But maybe you just aren't sure of how much value it actually provides, then go ahead and check out our free FMOD course on the front page of blipsounds.com. Thanks for watching everybody, and I hope to catch you in the Game Audio Training Series.